Joining me right now in Hollywood, Aubrey O'Day, who is the star of All About Aubrey on Oxygen. And right now in Chicago, Kelly Zink, who is the host of CelebTV.com. Okay, ladies. So we all know that the scandalous Kim Kardashian sex video was out there. Actually, it even made her famous. Well, get ready for this one. It turns out that her mother and her stepfather made one, too. Now, you got to hear how Kris Jenner let the cat out of the bag on this uh, one last night on Keep It Up With Kardashian. Take a look. Do you remember when we were living on... She was immediately destroyed. She's not even my mother, and that makes me uncomfortable. All right. So they destroyed the sex tape. Kidding. But, Aubrey, you've got to marvel at the uh, sick irony that Kim Kardashian's own mother also made a sex tape. I guess, you know, right. the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Right, and obviously that family's willingness to do anything and everything is what the fans love. But I'm just thinking, you know, where do you go at this point? It's like we need a compilation of all their greatest moments. Like Kim can reenact the sex tape and she can get her ass x-rayed at the same time and then we can have Chris in the corner with bladder infection. Dang! Yeah, all of it all at once. Kelly, I don't know how you can top that, but they kept this dirty little secret hidden for years. But it seems lately that the entire Kardashian clan, like Aubrey was mentioning, has a problem with giving us just a little much TMI. Let me give you some examples. Here we go. Like when Kim Kardashian had her butt x-ray to prove she doesn't have implants, or Chloe, remember she brought the cameras to her gynecologist appointment, or the girls outing their mom for her bladder problems. I mean... Come on, Kelly, I guess that it's a reality show, but seriously, talking about bladder problems, how's that entertainment? We also saw a bikini wax on TV, too. Don't forget about that, Jen. Um, You know, my only concern is that they're worried about their younger daughters being on birth control and being introduced to sex. Well, if you're talking about sex that freely all the time, guess what? The young ones are going to hear it, too. So that's my only concern. I mean, obviously, we know this is for TV, it's for ratings, and it's selling, so... Let them have fun. More power to them that they're in love, right? Yeah, you can't knock their hustle. They're definitely making the money. Now, and, and they yeah, you know, I actually like them. I really do like them. But seriously, isn't it time to just back, 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 back away from the cameras a little bit? Yeah, particularly when they're in the bedroom in those private sort of situations. <laughs> exactly. I mean, come on. Well, there is another Hollywood royal family who has been seriously shying with Rhea even reportedly picked up the tab. Aubrey, I am hearing this, and I think it's great they're putting their family first, particularly in light of their son just getting out of the hospital, but I do not think that we should be reading into this that they're getting back together, should we? No, they shared a life and kids together for decades. This is just more of an a obligation to family and also keeping respect between someone that you spend so much time with and love so dearly. I think just because they were seen together does not mean that they are back together. And Kelly, don't you think this just puts... Uh, you know, Maria, right there on the fast track for sainthood, she was already on the path. Uh, yes, but also kind of crazy hood. I mean, I'm not taking any of my exes out to lunch, especially those guys that if they cheated and I'm not picking up the check. So while I appreciate Kelly, your ex is one you. <laughs> Listen, I yeah, think, you look, know, at the end of the day, she's putting family first, and I, I can't give her any more credit for that. I think that is terrific of her to do. Got to leave it there, Aubrey O'Day. Kelly Zink, I thank you as always. Right now, we move on. Did they suffer the curse of the reality show romance? Let's hope the same fate doesn't happen for another reality show romance. Nick Lachey and Vanessa Manillo just married in an extravagant island wedding. And they made it into a brand new wedding bonanza special that just hit TLC, Nick and Vanessa's dream wedding. But are they setting themselves up for the reality romance curse? Joining me right now in Hollywood, Aubrey O'Day from Oxygen's All About Aubrey. Okay, so Aubrey, we know what a reality show did to Nick Lachey's last marriage to Jessica Simpson over. Right. So Aubrey, explain it to me. Why? Why would the guy go and put his second marriage out there for the world to see? Is he, is he jinxing himself here? Um, attention? No. <laughs> uh, listen, relationships fall apart with or without cameras. If their relationship is real and will, um, you know, be that of forever, then it will endure the life camera action. And at the end of the day, reality show is about reality, and reality is about ups and downs. You can't just show all of the success and the highs where it doesn't really end up working. You have to show the lows. You have to show the struggle. You have to show the ups and downs. So I think as long as him and Vanessa are real on their reality show, 
and they give us the uh, the honest scoop of their life and their marriage, the highs and the lows. It, you know, has the potential to do well. They're both good-looking people. I'd watch it. You know, I would say, though, the cameras do add some added pressure. And I know, for one, that I hope this is it for them. I'm rooting for them. And, Aubrey, we thank you very much.